Hi, good evening folks. In this video, we're going to look at where I would like and not like Sam to wind up on this offseason. Coming up. Okay, I got two of these to make and I got another video to make. I got to get on this. I want to get back to the Islander game. And before we start, I will have my orange soda, the champagne of orange sodas. All right. All right. So I got the divisions laid out again. We're going to do this again. Shout out goes to Mike Wilson. Mike kind of liked um, the Jacqueline that uh, was recommended. So shout out goes to Mike. He asked me if I could do one on, um, on Sam and Risto. I'm going to do one on Risto right after this one. So let's take a look at it. And what I'm going to do to save myself work and time, I'm just going to pull out the teams where I'd like to see. So I'm going to same rules. There has to be one team from each division, no matter what. And then we will decide. It might not look like all the West teams like I thought. This is where I would like him to wind up or not wind up. So again, everybody's off the board but Florida in our division. And Sam over, over here, believe it or not, Okay, believe it or not, I'm going to pick the Rangers this time. I'll explain that in a second. And um, and I will pick Columbus also, okay, from over there. That's about it, right? Yeah, that's, that's about it up from there. Now, in the... Uh, that from the Metropolitan, from the Central Division. I will take definitely take Winnipeg. I will take Minnesota. That's it. That's it. And I will take from over here. Um, God, I've got to nab at least somebody, don't we? Because I'm thinking, folks, we might get a trade. We might not get picks. But anyway, let's just do it anyway. All right, so let's look at... Um, I am going to, I'm going to take Vancouver. And I am going to take... Believe it or not, I'm going to take Vegas. As crazy as that sounds. And I, th and yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. Those are the six teams that I, I would, I think that could not hurt us and benefit us. And the Rangers, I'll explain in a second why it took the Rangers. Uh, all right. We got Minnesota and Winnipeg here. And we got Vancouver and Vegas here. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I don't want to deal with Calgary. Their fans thought that uh, Kachuk was so off limits, and right now he wants out. Go figure that one out, folks. Funny how karma works, eh? And I think it's legit. I think the guy does want out. I do. I do. I'm not surprised. I mean, he knows they're going to do a house cleaning over there. He doesn't want to be part of a rebuild. Um. All right. And I also got. Sorry. I got. What do you call it? I have got the Jackets and the Panthers. So right off the bat, um, what I think we could get, I don't think we'll get much from the Panthers. They'll go back up here, okay? Well, I'll, I'll, make, them, I'll make the line in the middle. I'm gonna go in the middle, the order I think it'll finish as favorites and work my way down. All right, um, then the reason I picked the Rangers, folks, is because I want them to take a $5 million cap hit. Because all those young studs, they're going to have cheap for a while. And it would be nice if Sam made up $5 million of their dollars. Um, just saying. They're one of my favorites at the end. So are these guys. Uh, Vegas, because I think Vegas might be just a bit in panic mode right now. And might give us a first rounder for them. But the thing is, their first rounder wouldn't be a very good one, right? 
um, or a prospect or something. Vegas might give us something to get Sam because Vegas might be in a bit of a panic mode right now after yesterday. Then next, I would go with Minnesota because of Dumba as a possibility. I will then go with the Jackets because the Jackets could give us something. Do we really want to take Lani? Do we want another problem case on our hands? You know what I mean? I'm just saying. You're hearing about Jack for Lani now. Not that we would ever do that, but I'm just saying. I, I don't know. You know, I think Lani's a good hockey player, but I also think there's a lot of attitude that comes with him. And we don't want this. We don't. We don't want spoiled brats on our team. We don't. All right, so my next one would be Vancouver. And I got Winnipeg as the favorite this time, guys. I really do. Yeah. This time around, I got Winnipeg. You see? Looking at it this way, I've changed my mind. I kind of like Winnipeg, This looking at it, like looking at all the teams. Um, I, and if you ask me why, well, I've got, I kind of got my eye on Kyle Connor. You know, one of you guys mentioned him in the notes and boy, oh boy, I would love the Sabres to get Kyle Connor. I would love the Sabres to get this guy. You know, I don't think we could get him straight up for Jack, though, up for Sam. No, <laughs> they'd be out of their minds to do it, right? They'd be completely out of their minds to do it. So they wouldn't do that. But. Next year's first round pick and Sam, just saying. I don't think there'll be any panic in Winnipeg, but they did have an early exit. All right, so that's who I got. I got uh, Vancouver and Winnipeg this time around as the favorites. That's who I got as the favorites. Yeah, I got Vancouver and Winnipeg. I just don't see, I don't know what Vancouver can give us, really. They're not going to give their studs for Sam. They're just not, you know? But if there's some deal to be made, like a big deal where we can send Sam and Jack over to Winnipeg and somehow get back Kyle Connor, forget Kachuk, believe it or not. No, I would, t I would take Kyle Connor in a heartbeat over Kachuk. I know a Kachuk is exactly what we need right now. We can find that. Kachuk kind of lost his game last year too. And I don't know if this guy's going to complain about playing in Calgary. He's going to complain about playing in Buffalo, guys. He is. He will. He'll want out eventually. We don't want that. This Kyle Connor kid, man, is something else. I remember when he signed with Winnipeg a few years back. Well, early last year. When he signed that contract, the first offer they gave him, he took it. He just took it. And, you know, they asked him about this. He said, I want to play hockey. You know, like, you know, that was his rebuttal. I want guys like that. If we could get Kyle Connor somehow, some way, oh, my God. We strike gold. Seriously. Uh, that would cushion the blow of losing Jack and Sam if we got a kid like this back. Okay, that's it for this video. I want to get to the next one. I don't want to drag these too long. These are kind of the, the teams I see that uh, I, I hate to take anybody from our division. That's why I got poor Florida last. But I could live with it if he went to Florida. We'd have to get somebody really big back, and they're not going to give it. They're not. Just for Sam, we're not going to get a ton back. Guys, we're lucky if we get a top 10 pick for Sam, the way I look at it. Maybe top 8. If we're lucky, if we're lucky, I doubt somebody's going to get that. So, you know, but if we could swing a, 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 a deal of a few players, maybe Risto, because they need a defenseman. We'll talk about it next video. Okay, folks, that's it for this one. I'm going into part two.